Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a what sold video. This video is going to be slightly different because I'm going to highlight 15 items that in total sold for $1,000. And I was inspired to try out this format by Hustle at Home Mom on YouTube. Uh, she has a lot of what sold videos that I find that I've been watching. And I think although the majority of my sales aren't these dollar amounts, um, it's kind of nice to see what is selling for kind of top dollar for her. And maybe those are brands I can look out for. So uh, if you like this uh, type of what sold video, definitely be sure to hit the thumbs up. So I know that I should maybe try this again. Um, all of these sales happened in the last few weeks on both eBay and Poshmark. Most of these were eBay and only two of them I know for sure were people who saw these items in YouTube videos. So it came from YouTube and I'll share which ones those are. But other than that, I was excited to see some of these move, some fun items. And yeah, let's just jump right into what's sold. If you aren't subscribed and you like reseller content, specifically around Poshmark and eBay where I sell and kind of share these types of things, uh, definitely hit the, the subscribe button down below. And if you obviously like this video, any video or this what sold or this type of what sold, uh, hit the thumbs up. Let me know. I, I appreciate it. All right. So first up, I'm going to start with the two that came from YouTube. Um, now these were not direct sales. I don't do direct sales. So these did both sell on Poshmark. Uh, but the first one was I think in my top five favorite items that I've ever thrifted. And this was the most beautiful jacket, definitely my style. Um, and if it were my size, I would 100% have kept it, but it was a little small. So anyways, this was by a Parisian designer named, named Agnes B. This is the second item I found by this designer. And I, I wanna say this probably retailed for a few hundred dollars. It ended up selling for $100 to someone who saw it in a video. Candy, uh, thank you so much for your purchase. I She sent me a note saying she saw it, she thought about it all day, and she just she had to have it. And I very much felt the same way, but it was not going to fit. So anyways, I absolutely loved it. It was this beautiful green crushed velvet, kind of just above the knee. I think there were about three buttons on the front. Anyways, I uh, yeah, if I can find this in my size my day will be made, my year will be made, but I hope you get a lot of use out of it this fall and winter. I think it's gonna be great. And yeah, so that's the first one. The next one that came from YouTube was a pair of sweatpants. Now, in my last What Sold video, I did show one pair. I found three pairs of sweatpants by a brand called Aviator Nation. And I had previously sold a t-shirt from that brand, and so I knew the value of it. When I found these three pairs of sweatpants, I thought I was gonna list them all. I decided to keep one that I think was the lowest value one. Uh, and this was actually my favorite one, which this, was this pair that's, that kind of had a moto style. It had these patches on the knees. I think the other one that I showed in my last What Sold video, it said high on nature on the side, like of one leg. Anyways, this moto style was definitely tempting to keep because just a little bit of edginess with a pair of sweatpants, which is kind of different. Anyways, so this sold to Amanda. She also sent me a note saying she saw it in the video and yeah, I was really excited. I love when I know that these are going to people who are just as excited about them as, as I am because when I share things in hauls and I say, I wish I could keep this, I genuinely mean it. So these are both items that, oh man. All right, so that sold for $100. And uh, the other pair of the, the sweatpants that I sold by this brand also sold for $100. And they both, I mean, the, the jacket and the sweatpants both sold in about a week. And uh, yeah, so Amanda, Candy, thank you so much. All right, so a couple, and those both sold on Poshmark. A couple more Poshmark sales. One was a sweater by Wild Fox. This was, I believe, the gold label. And this was new with tags. I actually bought this at a consignment store I think it was on a sale rack and I think they had it marked at about $30 and then I, it was like a 50% off rack and I paid about 15. Now it was new with tags. The original price was just about $200. I've had decent luck with Wild Fox, but uh, it sold for $52. It sold, it took about four months to sell four or five months to sell, which was longer than I expected, but it had this really cute, uh, I think it said airmail on the front with some hearts. I think, I want to say I listed this just after Valentine's Day, and I thought this was the perfect Valentine's Day kind of sweater. But anyways, it did take a little longer than I wanted to sell, uh, but it was cute. It went to a new home. I still had a decent return and yeah. 
All right, next up was a North Face fleece. This, why am I already forgetting this? I'm looking at my writing and I'm trying to piece together which North Face fleece this was. Okay. <laughs> I have sold three North Face items in the last week or two weeks, and uh, I had one that was kind of a lower price sale that only sold for about $20. That was brown, but that sold really quickly. And then I had a vest that was North Face that sold. I think that's on here, so I'll talk about that in a second. And then I had this fleece. This fleece, mind-boggling to me. This took probably about a year and a half to sell. A year. Um, but I was so surprised because it had some of the, the highest number of likes of items likes oh man it had some of the most likes on any of my items on Poshmark and it was this really nice mellow green grayish color and I did price high because I thought it's it's it, I maybe it's green I just like green so anyways I priced it high I want to say I started at about 74 and it just took a long time to sell even though I did get a lot of low ball offers but I just wasn't willing to let it go for less I finally got an offer for $45, which I thought was very reasonable. And um, yeah, I just, you know, sometimes, you know, you have a North Face item that sells in a week and sometimes it takes a year and it's kind of a, a more inconsistent brand for me, but yeah, I'm glad it sold. I'm glad it's off to a new home. All right, the last item on Poshmark that had a decent return was <laughs> one of my favorite pickups from probably about six months ago, four or five months ago. It was a tracksuit. And I picked this up, I wanna say it was right before COVID hit, and it was vintage, it was, the brand was Outbrook, so I, I don't think the brand really mattered much, but it gave me vibes of the Golden Girls. It was this kind of mauve color, it had this, I, it was just, it was perfect. I just loved it so much. And the fact that when you can find a set of things, that's always nice. So I, again, I priced high with this one. Someone came in, bought it uh, for $50, and I, yeah, I'm just, and I, I think I paid probably $10 for that. So, you know, some of these things I do pay up for, not pay up, but it's, you know, not my average cost of goods, but if I just love it so much and I think someone's going to love this as much as I do, then I'm willing to, to take that chance. And I'm glad I did. So, all right. So those are the first five items. The last 10, I think it's 10, um, all were from eBay and these are no particular order. So the first one was a by the brand Citron Santa Monica, which is a pretty expensive brand, has a pretty loyal following. I've sold it a number of times. Uh, this was a blouse. It was, I want to say it was silk blend. It was a, and I don't have the picture up, so I'm just going off my memory. It was kind of a burgundy maroon color. It had the, it was button front, but it was kind of a, a kimono style button buttons on the front. It took a day to sell. It was, didn't have a size tag. I marked it at about one X, obviously providing measurements. And someone actually gave me a pretty low offer. The buyer actually did a pretty low offer right away. I just declined. I do decline. If they really want it, they'll come back with a more reasonable offer. And <laughs> I have flies because my doors are open. Um, so she came back with a better offer of $47.99, but anyway, she came back, she offered a slightly higher amount. I got that shipped out and all is well. So the next one is a skirt by All Saints. This was, I probably had for close to a year and this sold for $44.48. This was just a fun one. It was also a good size. I believe it was a size 10. I'll, I'll write on the screen what it was but it was a good size. I thought it was gonna sell for New Year's because it kind of had this firework design. It was kind of a, a puffy silk skirt. I don't know. Anyways, I thought it was fun and I do like picking up All Saints. So it sold for $44.48. These are those types of sales right now that are kind of baffling to me of where is someone going that's wearing this fun kind of party skirt? because I'm, I'm certainly not going to any parties these days. So, um, I don't know, maybe people are buying with the hopes of like looking forward, like, you know, I don't know. Anyways. All right. So yeah, I was happy about that sale. It took a long time to sell, but it still had a decent return. All right. Next up was a pair of shorts. These were very unusual for me to pick up. I picked them up in my very small town and very odd. I, I think I paid two fifty for them. They were on a sale rack and I did not look them up, but I thought, oh, it's a 
NBA team or something. It was Minnesota Timberwolves was what it was. But at the, when I picked them up, I just thought, well, these look like someone would want them. So when I showed them in a video, someone said, I think those are game worn shorts. And sure enough, I went and looked, did some research and they were game worn shorts, which is how does it, how do, how do those end up in my very small town in California? I have no idea. But anyways, I put these on auction because I didn't really quite know how to price them. I didn't know the demand. It's just a little out of my wheelhouse. And so I put them on up on auction. I think I started it at 29 and they ended up selling for $149 in the seven day auction period. Well, that person ended up, and I was so like mind blown. There were 12 watchers and there were five bids and I was just mind blown. So then the, the person didn't pay. And of course, you know, that doesn't happen to me very often, but it occasionally happens. It's, you know, part of, part of it. So I contacted the buyer but right before I closed the case and said, you know, I'm, your, your account will be penalized if I close this case. I just wanted to, you know, give you kind of one more chance to pay. And I don't typically send a lot of messages because eBay sends them reminder emails. It's, it's just not worth my time. But because this was a good sale, I thought, okay, I'd rather her pay. So she sent me a message back and she asked me if that she didn't, that she hadn't paid because she was hoping that we could negotiate. And I'm like, no, you bid on an auction. There is no negotiating. And the, the pre, the other bidder was right under her by a dollar. So I could have had the other buyer. So I responded back to her and said, no, there's no room for negotiation. You bid on this item. I'm going to close this case if you don't pay. And so she then proceeded to send me a message saying she had some financial tr trouble at the moment. She wanted to pay me double if I gave her a month. And I'm sitting there thinking like, no, this is not, <laughs> this is not how this works. Again, nothing like this has happened to me on eBay, but weird things happen like this, I guess. So anyways, I closed the case. I relisted it on auction. It sold for $99 and 99 cents. Uh, it only had one better the second time. It still had a lot of watchers the second time. I should also note it had a faint stain. I disclosed that. So really great return for an item that only cost me a few dollars and just very unusual. But I just thought the, the whole negotiate after an auction thing was very strange, but whatever, maybe people do that. I don't know. Anyways. Okay. Next up was a skirt set. This took me a year to list. I had it up in my loft. I didn't know what to do with it, to be honest. Um, I couldn't find many, many comps that always stresses me out. It also was an unusual item. And I also had to hem part of the bottom of the skirt. Now this one also sold <laughs> back to back. This one also sold not on auction. This sold very quickly within a day to someone overseas. And I think it was, um, China anyways, it sold very quickly. They didn't have much feedback, whatever, but they didn't, didn't end up paying. And then I relisted it after I closed that case, it sold again to someone in Japan this time, and they ended up paying very quickly. They also had to pay quite a bit for international shipping to Japan. Um, I do use Global Shipping Program, which makes it very easy for me, but I know it's pretty pricey for the buyers. So anytime I have an international buyer, I'm always a little more sensitive with accepting offers because I know they're going to be paying a lot um, in, in shipping. So anyways, this sold for $80. It sold within a couple days. It took me a year to list because I needed to hem it. Uh, it had this weird hole on the skirt and I didn't really quite know what was missing. Like, why is there a hole on the waist of the skirt? I don't know again. And it was also hard to photograph. So I got it listed. I have a great return. I'm happy. The brand and Andre Walker is the, the designer. It is a runway designer but it's and Ray, like separated, Andre, Andre, anyways. Um, so yeah, I would pick that brand up again and list it quicker. <laughs> All right, so next up is a pair of camper shoes. The style was the Beetle shoes. I picked these up and they sold within a couple days. Uh, they, yeah, camper has some really unusual shoes, but they sold for $69, very great return, very great, very good return. Wow. I can't, I can't talk today. So if you're still watching this, apologies. Um, so yeah, so there's nothing really to say about these, but I do like picking up camper when I see them, which is pretty rare. All right. Next up was a jacket. This was a men's jacket by the brand Apollos. And I've sold this brand a couple times. This jacket actually had a flaw. There was a hole in this on a sleeve. 
I disclosed that. It's still sold within a few days for $55.30. And I should know all these eBay sales, they pay for shipping, which I'm not including in the total amount. So um, yeah, this was this was a jacket that seemed pretty desirable. I listed high even with the flaw and it still sold for a good return. Um, so definitely would pick that that jacket up again. All right, this next, these next two, I need to ship out today, actually, after this video. But the <laughs> I found, which is gonna be in an upcoming haul, I found a whole bunch of caftans at a, a thrift store and they were all these vintage, colorful, unique. Um, many of them already have watchers. This one sold very quickly. I waited almost a full day to accept the offer because I listed it at 124 and I got an offer for 75. And, you know, sometimes I just need to step away from the situation, put things in perspective. Courtney, you paid a few dollars for this. You get an offer within a day for $75. You might want 90 or $100, but if you don't accept this offer, and yes, I'm talking to myself as if I'm a different person. If you don't accept this offer, it could be months before you get another offer. You just don't know. So anyways, I ended up waiting, finally getting to the point where just accept it. And um, so it was a lot, of, it was so fun. It was so colorful. It had tigers on it and it was very uh, island, tropical vacation, somewhere I'd like to be right now. Uh, but I still have a number of these caftans, which again, I'll, I'll share in an upcoming haul. But um, yeah, this was a really fun one. It's going to go out today and a really great return. All right, next up was a dress. This also is going to be shipped out today. This one I've had for a few months. It's by the brand Roberta Roller Rabbit. I always feel like I say it in the wrong order, but uh, I've sold this brand a number of times and I almost always pick it up because it usually sells for me pretty quickly, usually a decent return. Some of the blouses or the tunics will sell anywhere from about 25 to 50, just depending on the style and size. This dress was uh, beautiful and white and not flawed, surprisingly. Uh, it sold for $55. Again, it took a few months, but yeah, that's going out today as well. All right, next up was the North Face vest that I mentioned earlier in the video, I believe. This sold for $49. This also was flawed. So I actually picked this up at the bins probably about a year ago. I picked it up. It was new with tags. I got home and there was a stain. So I decided, okay, it is. it was machine washable. So I decided to try and get the stain out. I couldn't get the stain out. I also had to take off the tags. Anyways, so I listed it as pre-owned. I, I think I did say, which I didn't look up the, the listing, but I think I did say that, you know, it's basically been washed once. Maybe I didn't, but uh, it still sold for $49. It took a little longer than I wanted to sell, probably about eight or nine months. But, you know, North Face, I am noticing people are starting to shop for winter, even though it's still warm out in a lot of the states. But um, yeah, trying to get those those fall and winter items listed for sure. All right, last one was definitely a favorite pickup recently. It was a cape. It was a brand I period Spywack, Spywack? I don't know. I'll write it somewhere, but, uh, and Sons. And when I found this identical cape, someone else's listing had these anthropology stock photos. So I made the conclusion or I had the conclusion that, okay, this clearly was an anthro item. It was beautiful. I listed it pretty high because I liked it so much and uh, it sold for $74 within a week. It was one that was tempting to keep just because it was so classic. And, and I think also when I had that haul video, I said, it kind of reminded me of little red white riding hood and people um, in the comments were pretty funny like but she had a red cape hence the anyways i haven't watched that movie in a long time but it makes sense so in total this all came to 996 dollars and 76 76 cents in sales even when you remove the fees my average price for a lot of these items most of these items were more in that closer to ten dollar range so you know even when you remove the fees and the cost of goods a really awesome return in the last few weeks on some fun items and yeah also i'm going to add just a few bummer sales because i like to keep things real and share some of my misses as well so uh all of these three items took uh, almost two years to sell and that's not that's not ideal for me. I don't think that's really ideal for any reseller. But uh, this first one was a Melrose and Market chambray top. This was new with tags. They do sell this at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, possibly some other places, but it was adorable. It finally, after a couple years, sold for $13. 
And uh, I just, it, it was cute. I thought about relisting it. I thought about, you know, putting it on the mannequin, but at that point it's just not worth that much. I don't think I've picked up this brand since. And I don't think it was a style thing. And I don't, yeah, I mean, it was new. I don't know. It just didn't sell. So uh, next up was a pair of Joe's jeans, skinny pair. Again, took a couple years to sell. These sold for $11. Joe's jeans, I will only pick up if it's a dollar. Um, or I really like the style. Um, they just, it just doesn't, they don't sell for much for me. I think it's more in that kind of 20 ish range, but these sold for 11 took two years to sell probably was my photos. I had a moment of doing these flat lays, trying to do something different. Again, I was kind of a new reseller at the time. And, uh, again, I could have relisted it. It's just those, those low dollar items that I'm not excited about. I just want to move them and not, not spend any more time on them. All right, and then the last one was a Free People plaid tunic. Kind of looked like a shirt dress, really mini sh shirt dress or tunic. This kind of had a gathering at the back of the waist, so it would have been a little bit more flattering for a um, a plaid shirt. But yeah, it took two years to sell. It only sold for $15. You know, Free People, I will pay up for if I really like the item, and some of it can go for 100 plus on the resale market, but I find more often than not, Free People items are in that 15 to 20 range, um, if not even a little bit less. So, you know, really being selective with Free People uh, for me or, or buying it really cheap is kind of my end goal. So anyways, that's it for my sales. Again, if you like this style, this format, be sure to hit the thumbs up on your way out and I will see you hopefully with another haul coming soon. Bye guys.